Hello everyone, welcome back in for another video. So today we're talking about something that I'm extremely excited for. We're talking Chaos Knights. Uh, so Games Workshop brought out this article uh, about the new Knights and I just want to kind of go over everything and talk about it. So dominate any phase you choose with the new option packed Chaos Knights kits. Very exciting. Uh, this little bit of artwork here is also fantastic. Uh, you've got a Chaos Knight sawing through a Dreadnought. I can't get enough of that. So, when you only have a handful of stompy mechs on the board, it's important that they each excel in their chosen role. The upcoming Chaos Knights army set offers you dozens upon dozens of different loadouts for the forces within. And thanks to these flexible build options, you can reign supreme across the shooting phase, the fight phase, and even the psychic phase. So, we've got to one of the new war dogs here. So, I'm extremely excited for the new war dog kits as well as the new Chaos Knight kit. But I wanted to go over a couple things because... It's very interesting where this is the first time, I think, in Games Workshop history where they've taken a huge cue from converters. So people who are converting Games Workshop models, uh, I've seen a lot of this stuff for, for months, years, right? Where the minute they bought out the regular Knights kits, uh, people started converting Chaos versions of them. There's obviously the Chaos Knights kit, but... The other knight kit you can use in the Chaos Knights book. So you'd buy that kit, convert it up, change it. Uh, and the war dogs, there was just the Imperial war dogs. So you'd have to convert them. And people were going nuts with them. Using chains, uh, weapons from all the different demon engines you can get your hands on, different head options. It's really cool and well done. So as we saw in the announcement at Adepticon, the War Dog Carnivore is a dedicated melee monster equipped with a Reaper Chain Talon for sweeping away lesser chaff and a Slaughter Claw for crushing hard targets. Unburdened by ammunition stowage, the Carnivore's impetuous spirit also gives it an extra burst of speed so it won't be left languishing in no man's land. So like most of the other knight kits, if you arm your knight with all close combat weapons, it makes it a specific type of knight. Uh, in this case, because it has no ammo hoppers, it's going to run faster. Uh, in most cases, uh, this means it'll only be kind of in between for one turn, where in some cases things can charge first turn, which I don't care for. I think it's not great for the game, but regardless, uh, this will most likely get into combat turn two. So, uh, and to talk about the weapons a little bit, so these little add-ons where it's got the blade on the end of the chainsword uh, and then the claw arm uh, on the other side, uh, so the conversions that people were doing were using plastic card to cut up uh, different sword parts to add onto the chain swords to make them look more chaos. And people were using the claw um, from the flyers kit from the chaos flyer uh, to use as a power fist for war dogs. So this is all stuff that I've seen before that's just now being made by Games Workshop, which again is, is really interesting. And I kind of like that where uh, I feel like the converters did it first, you know, so. Oh, and it's a Heldrake, sorry, the, the, the Heldrake uh, model for Chaos. So for those who prefer unleashing devastation at a distance, the same kit also builds several other varieties of War Dog, each loaded with some properly scary guns. The War Dog Stalker finds a middle ground by trading one of those melee weapons for the Fearsome Avenger Chain Cannon and its 12 infantry shredding shots or tank melting Demon Breath Spear. So <clears throat> these are some cool chaos only weapons i like that um i feel as though they need to do more of this over time where you know the uh dark mechanicum is making stuff for chaos space marines they're making things for the, the chaos night houses uh it's fun it really switches things up a lot and i think from this angle you really see the hell drake claw you can really see where they took that from uh i like the head as well uh the chains on the casket where it theoretically you know there's a, a rider in there but they've been <laughs> chained in and it also makes the eight point of star chaos fantastic you've got the little spikes coming out which is great uh, i like everything about this model I, I love the feet being clawed ends it's just it's the war dogs just kicked up a notch for chaos so the war dog brigade takes on takes it one step further by issuing blades and claws altogether, packing two ranged weapons for a tag team of arm's length armaments. All three varieties also come with a classic carapace mounted havoc launcher or additional firepower, which can be traded for a diabolus heavy stubber should the mood take you. So <clears throat> you can do, again, three different loadouts, just like they did for the war dog from before. You can do uh, close combat, close combat and shooting, or pure shooting. Uh, 
and the night kits are easy to magnetize. My knights magnetize. I'm going to make a video about magnetizing knights once I start building these models. Uh, so you, you're able to switch easily between the variants. Uh, so these kits really have some versatility to them, which is very nice. So knight abominants have become so corrupted that they control the immaterium itself, manifesting terrifying second powers from their unique warp storm discipline which can suffuse allies with the power of the immaterium and rack enemies with the same they also pack a volkite combustor using technology from dark days of horse heresy to atomize elite infantry and light vehicles alike under a beam of deflagrating death coupled with its thrashing electro scourge arm and nestling flock of sinister patero shades the abominant is a sight plucked from your nightmares so this is the new kit I love this kit. I <laughs> it's uh, like I convert the knights heavily when I get them, and this is the first time where I'm like, I want to build that. I'll take one of those, please. Uh, again, uh, they've taken many cues from what people have been converting online on their own. Uh, people were using uh, again demon weapons uh, coming from the Forge Fiend, uh, where they're using the plasma cannon <clears throat> on the arm that looks exactly like that. They've changed it to be now a Volkite weapon, but that's things that. Uh, or that's a conversion that people have been doing for a long time. And then they're using the mechadendrites from um, the uh, the close combat version uh, to make tentacle arms for knights. I've, again, seen people use those uh, mechadendrites uh, for a bunch of different stuff, but I saw people using them as a close combat weapon for knights as a conversion. So it's really interesting where Games Workshop has taken, you know, these cues from people converting their models, and I think that's really cool. So, if psychic powers aren't your style, the Abominant Kit also includes all the parts to build a Knight Rampager, equipped to Sunder Mortals and Machines alike in close combat. So, there's that ver variant right there. Or a Gun-Toting Knight Desecrator, uh, an ancient laser destructor weapon the Imperium can no longer replicate, gives the Desecrator enough firepower to challenge even the Lumbering Knight Tyrants, as the boss of parts heavy tanks in a single volley. So, this madden Maddening panoply of options means the chaos knight's army set can fill any gap in your existing force or form a balanced foundation for a new dread household crush your enemy under an iron stampede of two carnivores and a rampager or despoil their lands from afar with war dog brigades and your choice of ab abominant or desecrator it also contains a special art edition of the chaos knight codex set of data cards the only place these will be available for some time so <clears throat> This is great because this tells you you're getting two, okay? We're getting two of the smaller knights and one of the larger knights. So do I want this box? Yes, I want this box. However, okay, however, uh, I want to see the pricing of the box because Games Workshop lately, instead of giving a price break on these bundles where they put all the stuff together for the new release, uh, there is now no value saved uh they've been doing it that the value in the box quote unquote is that you get the models before everyone else so they release these i think it's two months three months before they come out as individual kits it's the only way to get them so we'll see because i do not want the data cards um i know that some people love the data cards and that's fine i uh lose them i forget them uh yeah i the last set of data cards i got was for my lumineth realm lords uh, and I've never played a game with them, and I swore myself off of them at that point. But th the thing with this box set is that if there was this added value in it, then I I would get this box set because then I can get the stuff and start w building it and working on it right away. But we'll see. I I can hold off. I have stuff to paint. <laughs> you know, like it's not like I need. I'm desperate for models, so. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening with me. Uh, but I know a lot of people are planning to grab this because it's just like, it's so cool. The night models are so much fun. Uh, and it's essentially an army in a box. It's, I believe almost a thousand points. Uh, I'll, again, we'll have to see the new book, but this is probably almost a thousand points. Uh, I'm not sure how much the psychic Knight is. I wouldn't be surprised if you took the psychic Knight with two decked out war dogs, if that was close, maybe you could throw in one more war dog again. We'll see what the new uh, codex, <clears throat> what they've got. But I 100% will get the new codex at some point. And eventually I would get the knights if I don't end up getting this box. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited for the knights? Uh, is this something on your radar? Or again, this is very specific to, to Chaos players, which is fun though. Because uh, we've been talking a lot on the channel about Chaos taking more of a, a backdrop lately. Uh, and I think that this will bring it back up uh, to where it should be as the, the main protagonist of the uh, of the Imperium. 
Uh, and the new kit, it's just so cool. It's just spot on for me. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much, and I'll see everybody soon.